Right, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can automate your internal linking using AI, right? No need to buy these expensive tools, no need to use ChatGPT, none of that. I'm gonna show you exactly how you do it with one tool and one click. So before that, what is internal linking? Let's say this is your website right here. And on your website, you have several pages, right? Whether that's a blog page with unique blogs or maybe your contact page, maybe some product pages, right? And your goal is to interlink these pages in a way that makes sense. For example, let's say this blog post talks about cats and this one talks about leashes, right? This should interlink between each other in a way that makes sense. Now, on top of that, the anchor text, which is the little text that's clickable so you can follow the link to the other page, that anchor text, sorry, needs to be relevant to the context of the page. It needs to fit well within the context of this page and it needs to make sense in accordance with what it's linking out to, right? So let's go over how you do this, right? Again, no need to use ChatGPT because even though it's freemium, you're always gonna have to pair it with a paid tool and it takes a lot of time. So here's how you do it using Journalist AI. So first things first, before I show you how to do it, let me show you what this looks like, right? I'm gonna just go here to my dashboard, go to uh, history right here real quick and just go to this one, for example, and let's see these 10 articles I've generated. And these ones are about the, the surf spots in Algarve. As you can see here, at surf camps in Algarve, this is the anchor text right here, which if you click, links out to this site right here. Now, this is an external link, right? Internal links are links that link to the website that this article is posted on, right? For example, this one is an external link. This one is an internal link, right? So because this article was for this website, right? Now, how can you automate this with this little tool? It's pretty straightforward. So first things first is you go to generate articles, forget all these three, no need, just click on advanced mode, then go and create a preset. Now, I already have a preset created, so I just go to presets and just edit this one right here, right? Now, skip all of this stuff right here. The only thing you need to know about is number four, internal linking. Now, what you do here is you add the sitemap for the site which you are going to want to post articles to, right? Because again, this preset is something that you use when you go to generate articles, advanced mode and select your preset. You choose to generate 300 articles, click generate. These articles are going to be generated on based on this preset. And this preset has a bunch of different things right here. Essentially, it is generated based on keywords, the content, it is the content is in English, the creativity level is original, the tone of voice is informal, there's calls to action, there's external links, there's images, images, videos, there's a lot of stuff here. But right now, we're just gonna focus on the internal linking. So what you do, again, is pretty straightforward, which I'm gonna do right now, is go to the internal linking tab and simply just paste in here your website sitemap, right? You can go a bit more granular, you can filter the sitemap to only target some blog posts in a certain category or certain pages. But if you just post your sitemap right here, and in this case, this is not the whole sitemap for the site, right? This is the news sitemap, right? If we were to do it like this, on the generated articles, there could be some internal links going out to the About Us page, the Contacts page, right? But because we're doing it solely with the news sitemap, right? The internal links on the article articles we generate using this preset are only going to link out to the news, right? So if you go here to this sitemap right here, we can see that the news sitemap only has news, right? So these are all pages on the blog for news, right? So you can play around with this, right? Again, we hit save, and if we go to here to generate articles, I won't do it right now, but if we were to do it like, like this, like this, select my surf blog, then hit generate, it would be generating these articles that we see here, right? And if we skim through them, we're going to see, of course, there's the images, there's the internal links, there's more images, there's sometimes there's videos even, right? Um, tailored, by the way, to what this content is about. For example, these videos about surfing in Portugal, all these images are surfing related. These are all AI generated, by the way. And if we see here, right, this is an external link right here. But if we skim, skim through these ones, I'm sure we'll find an internal link here somewhere um, to what we, yeah, this one is an internal link, right? To what the content is, actually, no, this is not an internal link. This should be somewhere on here to the site that we just added there. Should be right around here, 
Let's see this one, because again, we're not just adding random links, right? We only add internal links when it makes sense, right? This one is an external link. This one is an internal link right here, right? As you can see, it links out to some news on this domain right here. And again, if we go back to the presets right here, click edit, we will see that in the internal linking uh, tab right here, number four, we want internal links to link out to any URL within the news section, right? And to do that, we put it here, the news sitemap. Again, if you go here, this URL should be inside here somewhere. At the moment, I'm not finding it, but it should be around here somewhere. Maybe it's hidden behind some of these ones, but you get the point, right? We just automated internal linking just by putting here your sitemap URL. So again, any content we generate based on this preset is going to have, when it makes sense, of course, internal links to articles within this sitemap right here. Again, not every time, but every time it makes sense. Again, the anchor text also is going to be optimized and the article it links out to, right, article B, has to be and is going to be somewhat related with article A, right? We're not just going to link out at random, right? We're only going to link out in a way that makes sense. Same thing goes for external linking, right? If you want to build external links, right, you can leave this automated or you can do it add your own external links. So let's say if your article is about finance, right? Linking out externally to external sources, for example, Investopedia, uh, Wikipedia, TechCrunch, right? Sources in the finance niche. You can again automate this and we'll scrape the internet for relevant articles in your niche and language and do this all automatically for you. And this is exactly how you can automate your internal and also external linking processes simply by pasting in here your sitemap or any other website sitemap, to be frank with you, and tailoring it down if you want to tailor it down and filtering it down, you can do so here. Super powerful. Again, what you have to do to recap, you just go to tryjournalist.com. I'll leave a link for this in the description. Go to the advanced mode, create a new preset, fill all these out, right? Uh, we have a video solely on this channel on how to fill all these out uh, and how to go about using either, every one of these modes. But just know that to set up the internal linking, you go to number four, and just paste in here your sitemap. And again, if you save the preset down here, go to generate articles, go to advanced mode, select the preset that you just generated, select 300 articles, click generate. What's gonna happen is all of the articles you generate here, of course, they're gonna have the featured image, the table of contents, the in-article images, the in-article videos. Sometimes they have tables, sometimes they have bullets, sometimes they're gonna have external links and also internal links linking out to other articles or other pages on this same website where you are going to put this article on. So essentially automating for you your internal linking efforts. It's pretty cool. I'll leave a link again for this in the description. It's stridejournalist.com. Let me know what you think, like, comment, and yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.